everyone, this is Meg from Miss Old Fashioned Life and I just had to share with you really quick, this is a sweet vintage thrift store haul. Awesome, awesome morning at the thrift store, thrift store today. Blech. Um, I spent a grand total of $14 and I actually went in to the thrift store today just to get some uh, last minute Christmas uh, stuff like uh, gift bags, cheap, cheap gift bags, and um, ribbon, uh, it's like 25 cents, um, 25 cents, all the Christmas stuff was half price, um, bows, um, gift bags, my dad needed a stocking, like cheap, like a quarter for all of this stuff. And then I kept looking around, because you have to, right? And oh my goodness. Look what I found! Ta-da! In box, vintage, I'm gonna say... Oh, oh, from Poland. 1960s tree ornaments, Christmas tree ornaments. Three dollars, half price, dollar fifty. Oh my goodness! In the box! Look how awesome this box is! It's in perfect condition! Um, the, all the other ones I have are in really rough condition, but it looks like, gosh, it looks like these have, like, never been used. Isn't that amazing? For a dollar fifty! Um, what else did I get? Um, stuff that wasn't Christmassy that I found. In the kitchen stuff, I always look for milk glass, because I sort of collect, um, milk glass, but not the tall skinny vases, because those are a dime a dozen. But when I see milk glass that's, um, big, bigger vases or unusual ones, pedestal ones I really like. And look at this one that I found. It's beautiful. It says E.O. Brody Company on the back, Cleveland, Ohio. I'll have to do some research on that, but guess how much it was? One dollar! Super happy about this buy. Really pretty. I really like the scalped edge on the top, so super, super pleased with that. Milk glass buy. And the other, um, I got a really nice refrigerator dish. These are great if you can pick them up. Um, they're like butter dishes, uh, but I use them to store leftovers in the fridge. Um, it's all glass, super nice, they're really sturdy. And if you find them, they also have um, half sizes as well. Those are harder to find, um, but they're really nice if you can find them with the lid. And for one dollar, this, this was a total steal. Very, very nice. Vintage Kitchen, all of this stuff is completely usable. Um, don't be afraid to use old stuff. It, it, that's what it's for. It's for to use. And a lot of times the older stuff is a lot tougher and uh, is a lot, um, is built a lot better than the newer stuff today. Now the last really neat uh, thing that I bought is behind me and I bought a globe. Um, I like it because I think it's a cool it's a cool base on it. It's got a little point there. This is going to go up on one of my bookshelves, I think. But I think we've got a lot of use out of it because with my kids now, it's nice to be able to talk about a place and then to be able to go over the globe and actually to find it on the globe. I think that's kind of that's kind of cool and exciting. And uh, yeah, uh, that was my big spend of the day. It was eight dollars. Make sure when you look at thrift stores, there's some things you should always look for, like vintage kitchen stuff, and know your thrift store too. Um, my thrift store, the clothing is pretty terrible and overpriced, but the kitchen stuff is good, the, um, the Christmas stuff is fantastic. Uh, I've gotten vintage, real nice vintage 50s tablecloths and 60s tablecloths um, for a couple dollars there. And uh, yeah, so just know your thrift store and make sure you check. Every time you go, you have to check for these things. So every time I go, I check for... I check for nice dishes, um, utilitarian stuff for my kitchen, I check for milk glass, and um, I often check for um, linens, because I sort of have a thing with tablecloths, so don't ask. And uh, yeah. Alright, thank you so much. I gotta go. I gotta go pick up my little guy from school, um, but hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye!